Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we got an interesting one for you. This is a gateway laptop that we paid 180 bucks for from Walmart and it'll actually game. It has a Ryzen 3 3200U. While yes, it's an older Ryzen APU, it actually has those Vega graphics that allow you to play games. And we're gonna show you in today's video how well it actually performs, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Wondershare and their Recover It software, which makes it easy to recover thousands of file formats that you may have lost to deletion or device Device corruption. Recover It has a 95% recovery rate and supports all different kinds of storage devices like hard drives, flash drives, SD cards, and more. And it can also save you from hundreds of different data loss scenarios like accidental deletion, formatting, and even virus attacks. Recover It is very easy to use. All you have to do is download it by using the link in the description below. Select the drive you want to recover from and hit scan. From here, the program will scan the drive and find all the files that can be safely recovered and you can even use this program on a bootable USB to fix a corrupted Windows install and also fix corrupted video files. Have the peace of mind that your data will be protected by downloading Recover It by using the link in the description down below and special thanks again to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. So we've taken a look at some new gateways on Walmart's website and we figured it's time to take a look at one of the cheaper options. This is a refurbed gateway and that's kind of how we got the $180 deal. There's actually a lot of refurbished units on Walmart's website and they're typically refurbed by the manufacturer like this one's straight from Gateway so we actually do recommend and trust most of these. Now we did do an upgrade before we actually started this review it does only come with four gigs of RAM which for any sort of modern gaming is just not gonna cut it so we wanted to upgrade it and the only thing we had on hand was an extra eight gig stick so we're technically rocking 12 gigs of memory right now and that's a pretty decent upgrade if I would say and yeah I think it'll work really well with that 3200U to make sure it reaches its maximum performance. So yeah, let's just open this thing up again and avoid this dent. Don't worry about that. Shipping problems. Ooh, look at that. So it does actually come with like the refurbished information guide. I don't know what it's gonna tell me. Like, hey, ignore if anything's broken. You know, it's refurbished. What do you expect? Um, how do I get a user manual for my refurbished PC? Where are my recovery discs? Because people, people need those. Does this even have a DVD drive? No. No. So yeah, where's my recovery disc? I don't know. But overall, the laptop looks like it's in wonderful shape. If I'm being honest, would not be surprised if this is like one that barely got used. It probably, customer probably bought it, opened it up, didn't want it, sent it back, and you know, Gateway took it and then basically called it a refurb. Because honestly, sometimes open box can be more dangerous than refurb. Because a lot of times the open box, especially lately we've noticed, people will, well, not send back the right item. They'll send back fake items basically, like, you know, some Corsair fans, for example. We had this happen where they bought some Corsair fans and uh, they sent back their old fans to Amazon and then Amazon shipped us their uh, <laughs> old fans, pretending they were new ones. So yeah, wasn't really anyone's fault, but obviously they should have been checked it. So refurb means they actually went through and at least looked at it, made sure it went through all the checklists and everything. But yeah, this guy right here has a Ryzen 3200U, which is a four core, four thread and uh, Vega graphics built into it. Now there are the lowest in Vega graphics you could get at the time. So, I mean, they're nothing insane, but hey, for Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox games like that, especially with the 12 gigs of RAM, if we didn't do that, it probably would barely play like Fortnite. I mean, no, I say barely, I mean barely, because it really needs like eight gigs and is it, is it already dead? Gateway. We're coming through. It looks like we do have like a little thumbprint scanner, or fingerprint scanner. Um, it does obviously have a webcam built in. It's gonna have speakers, it's gonna have a microphone. So all of the necessities of a laptop. And then as far as ports go, we have our DC power jack. We have a USB three, we have an HDMI out. We have a USB type C. And then on the other side, we have a USB three, a combo headphone jack, and then a micro SD card reader. So pretty standard. And the best part about this whole entire deal is it comes with the gateway cow which we have come to know and trust and love. If I see this cow in anything, I am buying it. Now, one thing I do wanna show Jackson, and I've been looking at it, is if you look at the back of this laptop, there is a little special port right here. And this right here is a lot, it gives you the opportunity to add an M.2. And Jackson knows how I like to think. You know what could go there, right? Th think, we did a video oh, on it. Oh, oh, oh. And it's like a perfect spot for it. I know it. exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about one of these doohickeys. Yeah, that... and we won't do it in this video, but if you guys wanna see a video where we actually Boop. do that, then I, I think that's actually the cleanest spot you could do one of those things. No, it is. Like, like right you there. Could, I mean, you could. You don't have to take the whole back off. You can yeah. just take that off and then pop this in there, throw in like a, a 3080. No, <laughs> 3080. Um, yeah, I guess, no, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so let us know Stay if tuned. you wanna see that down below. But but uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and test this thing in some games with the current configuration, well, with the upgraded RAM, and yeah, don't worry about that thing. We'll, we'll mess with that later. 
All right, guys, we now have this laptop all booted up with a couple games and ready to test them. Now, we are going to be testing first up in Elder Scrolls Skyrim, mainly because this is an older game that would work really well on this little laptop. As you can see, it's not absolutely perfect, only getting about 40 to 30 FPS. A few times it'll get up to 60, but in some situations, you're looking more like 40 FPS. But Skyrim, along with some other older games, can run pretty well, Ugh, and you can actually battle and have a fun time in an older title like this. Um, a lot of esports titles, as you'll see when we play Fortnite, run perfectly fine on the 3200U. But we are running 720p uh, medium settings, and I think 720p is the sweet spot for this laptop. It is a 1080p display, so you could run 1080p and get some lower frame numbers, but on such a small screen, 720p looks just as fine as 1080p in my opinion. So you really can just benefit from getting the extra frames from not having to push as many pixels. Yeah, just running around down here in Skyrim, it works. I mean, it's playable. Um, you could go to low if you wanted to, um, and you might get a more like 50 to 60 FPS experience. But um, overall, I think Skyrim is definitely playable in an older game that if you're someone getting new into PC gaming, yeah, of course, this was on the console as well, so you could have played on the console. But if you're getting new into PC gaming, you certainly uh, want to give Skyrim a shot with the mods you can add and a bunch of different fun stuff that you can do in this game that isn't really available to you on just the uh, Xbox 360 or whatever other console is things out on. I mean, it's on the Switch. It's on pretty much everything nowadays. So, ugh. Take this giant guy out. He's done. He's absolutely done. But yeah, Skyrim gameplay works great. Let's go ahead and switch over to a game that I know a lot of you want to see, and that is Fortnite. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite on performance mode. We are using right now medium view distance, medium textures and 70% render scale. We're gonna go ahead and drop in real quick, but the goal is to get close to 60 FPS. I have the frame rate limit to 60 because, well, anything over that is kind of unnecessary in a laptop that was $180. But do keep in mind, this laptop, once again, was upgraded with another eight gig stick, making 12 gigs of memory. And you can tell Fortnite is fully taking advantage of that. We're almost to eight gigs of usage. So running just four gigs is gonna to be unplayable so if you do pick this thing up do keep in mind if you're going to use it for gaming you're going to want to get that extra stick of memory make it at least eight gigs so you can actually have some playable results and i have no idea if i'm going to survive this hot drop but we're going to give it a shot few stutters here and there, but again, this thing is not designed to be a gaming laptop. If it can do some light gaming on the side, that's just a bonus. It's overall a pretty snappy little work PC um, for those wanting something on a budget from Walmart. I mean, it's pretty good. If you consider you're getting a monitor, keyboard, mouse, a whole laptop for under $200, I think it's a pretty good bargain, and those Vega graphics still can perform pretty well um, in some esports titles. Ain't gonna play Call of Duty Warzone or anything like that, but if you're somebody who's into playing Fortnite or things like Valorant, CSGO, those other esports titles, it looks like you can get a pretty good 60 FPS experience, and you need to run at 720p. As I mentioned, it does not look that bad. Honestly, I think the performance gains outweigh the uh, quality loss, and yeah, this little thing can definitely keep up. I'm back in the bot lobbies, guys. I mean, this works for me, but it looks like I am in the bot lobbies. Keep scrolling. He's done. But yeah, look at that. Close to a stable 60 FPS in Fortnite 720p performance mode. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's switch to another game. Now, of course, the last game we have to test is Minecraft. And Minecraft being a more CPU-dependent game, running just a four-core, four-threaded processor like the 3200U, you are gonna get some stutters when loading into the world. Now, this is a world I loaded in previously, so it might be a little bit less than you would when you originally launch a brand new world, but do keep in mind there's gonna be initial stuttering, and the whole point in Minecraft is to get everything loaded in as much as you can, so then you have a smooth frame rate. So we're gonna let everything load. As you can see, that 3200U is at 100% usage, we're gonna let stuff load in, see what the frame rate settles out at, and then we'll have a determination on whether or not Minecraft is a suitable option for this little laptop. And we're just gonna move around here to let stuff generate. It's trying its best to generate right now. Kill my little laptop, you got this. But yeah, the higher in CPU that you have, the faster this stuff's gonna generate, the faster the frame rate's gonna settle out, and the faster you have the ability to play Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft is a lower end game per se, but it is very CPU dependent. And look at that, it's just taking forever to load in these frames. So let's go ahead and go into the settings here real quick and show you guys what we're working with. We are at 720p, fast, four render distant chunks. We are running on lower settings. Uh, this would be considered low in Minecraft. And um, the main reason we're doing that is because we just want the most optimal experience and we are still at 720p. 
Now, I would say this is an okay experience. I know a lot of you who are experienced with these like Vega laptops could recommend like overclocking or um, doing some modifications to the 3200U and boosting it a little bit. That would give you some better results, but for the average consumer, I wouldn't dive into that because if you're using this as like a work laptop, that's gonna put your laptop at risk of being well damaged and not functional. But hey, as you can see, we're getting more like 50 to 60 FPS. There is some lag when you're running around the map. Again, stuff generates and that's gonna happen, but um, I think for someone getting into Minecraft or wanting to play Minecraft on the side, this is pretty good. You could also install Optifine to really improve that performance. This is just stock Minecraft. Optifine would definitely give you a little bit of an FPS boost, but there's a lot to do with Minecraft and the fact that it is a PC. There's a lot of modification and optimization you can do to get this thing up and running. But yeah, I think this thing is really awesome. If you can run at 720p for gaming, works great. 1080p screen for work and everything else. The screen is a little bit glossy. That's why we have all the lights off here is because there's a lot of reflections, but it's still a solid screen. And if you could pick this thing up at $180, slap in a $40 eight gig RAM stick or whatever, you can get some pretty good performance. So yeah, benchmarking complete, looks really good. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, so we just got done finishing benchmarking on this laptop and long story short, 1080p screen, which is pretty awesome for how small it is, but in certain games, you are gonna wanna lower it to 720p, but games like Minecraft, you should be able to just leave it at 1080p, uh, maybe lower a couple settings here and there just to make it a nice smooth 60 FPS. But other than that, I mean, for $180, you really can't go wrong. You're not gonna find anything cheaper. So overall, if you wanted to hunt for this laptop, we'll leave a link to the original listing down below. As mentioned, and I know there's gonna be people who get upset about it, this deal comes in and out of stock. I had this thing sent to me by Hunter Fabio, a good friend on our Discord server. He sent this to me along with our laptop we'll be reviewing here soon. And it comes in and out of stock a lot at $180. So check that link down below. The pricing will be there. So definitely consider picking this thing up. And uh, yeah, it was fun to take a look at this really cheap laptop and see how far the performance has come. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace Goodbye. Out. Come buy a PC bros, gateway. And if you guys wanna buy this beautifully tested laptop that we know works with a one year warranty, you should check out our PC selling business. PCBros.tag is where we sell stuff that's featured in videos on the Toasty Bros channel and also stuff that isn't featured like gaming PCs and other gaming laptops that you can get at great prices. Check out our website, PCBros.tag or come in person. See you guys later, goodbye.